jerk up, play mad jazz, spray at their feet. They hit their last dance, watch they top bang like street performers on trash cans. See the man or woman, they off the base and this gas hand. Don't matter how you swing when I'm pitching, so fuck a bad man. Say you got a code and it's to keep plenty safe. Well, then I'm about to break your code, bitch, and empty the safe. What's going on, dope shit gang? It's your boy, Donna Bradley, back with y'all another video. And today, we've got Sauron versus Lich King. Lord of the Rings versus World of Warcraft death battle. It's been a minute since we reacted to a death battle. You know what I'm saying? We here. I was running into some issues, but I seen people reacting to them, so we gonna hop back into them. I like these. I don't really know about more uh, a whole lot about World of Warcraft. Oh, damn, I'm going to my... But we got a uh, Lord of the Rings Sauron. Like I'm gonna lean in that direction, but we gonna see after they give us all the, you know what I'm saying, all the the stuff about each character. But if there's anything that you want me to react to, look in the description. Help support the channel through the paper. PayPal or Patreon, we'll put your name in the video as you react to it. But as of right now, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. And we hear that any further ado. Three, two, one, death battle. Let's go, baby. Battle sponsored by Bespoke Post and Shady Ray. All right. I love their breakdowns and shit, man. So for characters that you don't like, know what's up with them. Sauron, the Lord of the Rings. Yo, if you haven't been watching the Lord of the Rings series, you gotta get on it. Lord of the Scourge. Evil has many shapes, but few can match the presence of these kings of blight and shadow. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. All right. All right. Within the timeless halls, at the dawn of creation, the supreme god Eru and his angelic Einor created all of existence through a single harmonious song. But one of these angels just had to be a rebel. Melkor <laughs> ruined that harmony, giving the world its many, many imperfections. Like Wiz. Then after messing up God's hit single and going rogue, Melkor took up a new name just to be even more metal. Morgoth. Morgoth's okay. power was impressive. Oh, yo. All right, yo. Because I've, 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 I've been um, I'm watching Lord of the Rings series and all this stuff. But, like, I didn't know all this. Like, they really, really going in depth. Hold up. Hold up. So now we know who Morgoth is. Wait, let me back it up. Let me back it up. <laughs> I'm actually interested in this shit. Hold on. Through a single harmonious song. So they've been around for a minute. Just okay. Had to be a rebel. Melkor ruined that harmony, giving the world its many, many imperfections. Like okay. Wiz. Then, after like messing Wiz. up God's hit single and going rogue, Melkor took up a new name just to be even more metal. Morgoth. Uh, Morgoth, Morgoth was an power angel? What? what? Gore was named Morgoth by the way. Sorry. El King. Morgoth thing is dark enemy. Okay. It's impressive. Daunting. Several Maiar, essentially lower ranked angels, joined him in his frightening conquest of the world he oh, had helped create. And the greatest of these I followers is the one obsessed with destroying all life in the pursuit of bringing about complete order. He used to be Myron, but under Morgoth's reign, he became the one and only Sauron. Sauron. As the big wig of Morgoth's forces, Sauron spent thousands of years bringing Middle-earth to its knees. He's almost more a force of nature than anything else, able to create infernos, cause country-spanning earthquakes, and even absorb souls. And because he's a weird angel spirit man, he can morph angel his body spirit around man? his own soul however he wants, or just okay. shed it like clothing and fight as a ghost. He can morph far beyond that. He has appeared as something akin to both man and elf, attractive and devious, a werewolf once thought to be the greatest wolf of all, and even a vampire. Yeah. Oh, man, Tumblr's all right, so Sauron different. Okay, I'm learning shit, bro. Like, I ain't played none of the games, and all right, I'm gonna go nuts with that. Many of his greatest accomplishments are not due to his powerful magics and weaponry, but his inhuman cunning. Sauron is nothing less than a master of manipulation. He's like if Loki and Satan did a fusion dance. <laughs> he loves to trick someone with illusions, shadow magic, or just by toying with their sad, predictable, pathetic human emotions. Like when he convinced Saruman to join the evil side, who was basically a super wizard specifically <laughs> meant to lead the charge against Sauron. In some ways. Yeah, because I think that like the in the in the show, we have the prelude to the, the the to this character, this this wizard guy. But yeah, he was supposed to be the one who went against dude. But yeah, all right. For wizard specifically meant to lead the charge against Sauron. In some ways, Sauron is actually wiser than the master he served. 
In the most epic war to eclipse all other wars, humans, dwarves, elves, and more united to destroy Morgoth, casting what remained of Melkor into the void. But Sauron saw it coming and bailed faster than me at a divorce <laughs> hearing just to Damn. show back up centuries later in the fiery pits of Mordor. There, the Dark Lord created a plan to conquer everything. He fooled the elven smiths into forging 19 rings of power That's in the and show. planted oh. them among the leaders of elven, man, and dwarven kind, all controlled by another ring he made in secret. The one ring to rule, rule them, them all. all, one ring to find them, <coughs> one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind find them. them. Oh god, that's so epic. I think I'm into poetry now. Forged in the fires of Mount Doom using part of Sauron's own soul, the One Ring amplified his power and let him control the minds and actions of the other ring bearers. The nine kings of men were especially vulnerable mm -hmm. and saw themselves reduced to twisted wraiths bent to Sauron's. AKA ring power contains Sauron's essence power. Powers granted. Dominion over the rings of power enhanced natural. Yeah, yeah. He's, he, he's different. He's different. Wins. Okay. It wasn't any better for the less kingly humans. So much so that Sauron mind controlled most of Numenor. We're talking about an island nation that could have had as many as. It's estimated population is created. Yeah, yeah. Because they were. This was in the, in the show. This was like talking about. This was like one of the pinnacles of human civilization. And in uh, in uh. Lord of the Rings movies, they were talking about how it was like a shell of itself. I controlled most of Numenor. We're talking about an island nation that could have had as many as 18 million people. And Sauron had them all at his creepy, pokey fingertips. This led to retaliation from Eru, who had hardly directly intervened ever before, even against Morgoth. Eru oh. sank Numenor. Oh, so Eru was the other angel guy. Okay, see, I knew nothing about the angel dudes in the beginning and all that other stuff. Intervened ever before, even against Morgoth. Eru sank Numenor while Sauron was still on it. But the Dark Lord spirit persevered, indestructible even against the wrath of God. Sauron used the ring to build himself a new body. It may have cost a lot of power, but he took a biblical event to the face and went right back on to being evil. The one ring indestructible. Swing dragon. Okay. And yet, putting so much power into one object did have <coughs> drawbacks. Which hit back hard when Isildur subtracted a digit from his hand. The warrior king did more than just cut off a finger. He took the ring and its power for himself. This act forced Sauron to retreat as a disembodied spirit, threatened by his own power in the hands of another. And should the one ring be destroyed completely, Sauron's spirit could be rendered impotent beyond repair. It isn't all bad, though. The ring can turn you invisible, create visions of impending doom, and has one <laughs> hell of a defense mechanism. Yeah, yeah just don't want to destroy it when it makes you want it. It has a will of its own with promises whispered. Even the best of us can't refuse. The greatest poultry dinner ever, Boomstick. Bourbon, food. pecan, parmesan, turducken. It's so precious. <laughs> what did you just do? What? It sounded delicious! Wow. Well, ring or no ring, Sauron's a beast. He's carried <coughs> away armies of soldiers and erupted Mount Doom through sheer willpower. He has to- Mount Doom. The, the, the show has that happening differently through a thing of the list of tunnels and water, but okay. Carried away armies of soldiers and erupted Mount Doom through sheer willpower. He has total control over his own being and can modify his soul at will. So he can definitely resist someone like Spooky Ghost Killer Brimbor trying to dominate his spirit. And being among the strongest Maiar, the peak of Sauron's power is beyond that of Ose, a lesser Maya, which is specifically important because Ose single-handedly raised the island of Numenor. Yeah, remember that? So Sauron, he, he's a lesser angel. He's a fucking angel. Like, bro, like, I ain't know none of that, bro. <laughs> like, goddamn. Yo, yeah, nah, he different. Okay. The island that got no one? That place. No wonder everyone wants his ring. Who could turn down that much power? Not as Sildor. The hearts of men are easily corrupted, and he kept the ring rather than destroy it. But in the end, the ring destroyed him and waited for its master's return. Sauron was rebuilding Mordor into a world-conquering force. And after a little bit of good old-fashioned torture, he found out the ring was in the Shire. The chillest, coziest, dopest place imaginable. Ah oh, man, when I retire, I'm gonna go live in a hobbit hole and just get lit 24-7. And I mean, so began I... the War of the Ring. Sauron's forces covered the land, seeking both the ring and the downfall of man. 
always shadowed by the symbol of his ever-present influence, the Eye of Sauron. It was a slaughter fest. Middle Earth stood no chance. Everybody basically accepted death by orcs as inevitable. Oh. It was hopeless. The kingdoms of men would finally. Wait, I conjure storm directly. Sorry, gotta get this info. Divine intervention from. Okay. Defeated Gando. Numitor. Gilad. Yeah. Fall for good, save for the Dark Lord's truest weakness. Sauron's cunning. Oh, we got ads. We don't got that premium over here. Sorry, guys. Thing and stratagems were impressive, sure, but ultimately, <coughs> he never truly understood the people of Middle Earth. In his mind, absolute power was factually irresistible. He never imagined a mere mortal could ever or would ever seek to actually destroy the One Ring. Against all odds and a whole lot of walking, Sauron <laughs> was defeated. Not by the sparkly new king or the armies of Middle Earth, but by the most unlikely creature imaginable, Elijah Wood. <laughs> Elijah Wood! <laughs> as a formless shadow, Sauron's legacy remains one of domination, treachery, and most of all, fear. Fitting for the being that represents, and I quote, as near an approach to the holy evil will as is possible. Mm. All right, damn! I did not know all this that. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Bespoke Post. Gear Lich, up for the Lich dude Bespoke got a whole yeah. His his name? Lineup of must Lich. have box of awesome collections. Lich. Bespoke. That he got a way to go, don't he? Send emerging brands to bring you the most unique. Perfect for some deliciously oh, oh, devilish oh, 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 home oh, oh, cooking. No matter what you have going on this season, Box of Awesome has you respected. On the distant planet of Draenor, destruction was imminent. The orc shaman Nerzul prepared a spell with his followers to tear the planet asunder, all to escape the fury of the demon lord, Kill Jaden. But when Nerzul waltzed through the portal, Kill Jaden was right there waiting for him. Nerzul was forced to serve Kill Jaden's will to ravage another world, Azeroth. Thus, he was transformed into the first Lich King. This Lord of the Dead was sent to the continent of Northrend, but Kill Jaden had one more twist for poor Zul. His body was gone, leaving just his spirit, which was bound to a set of armor sealed within a prison of magical ice. Man, this guy can't catch a break. Damn. Armor looks sick, though. He's gonna possess me if I put that on, huh? Yep. From his frozen prison, the Lich King would begin his conquest, conjuring an unstoppable plague of undeath. Soon, this would threaten the lives of the kingdom of Lordaeron. Okay, so that was a lot, but here's where our main guy finally shows up. Lordaeron's crown prince and holy knight, Arthas Menethil. Yeah, his name does kind of sound like something your doctor would give you for fungus, but hey, no, 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 Arthas was a badass. <laughs> At 19 years old, he was considered one of the best swordsmen in the world and had mastered nearly every weapon he could. Even with- Man, like a crossbreed between, like, King Arthur and- Thor now. All right, let's go. Such a skilled warrior as a <coughs> prince, Lord Aron was already severely pressured by a war with an orcish horde. So a zombie plague was the last thing Arthas needed. Compounding this even further, Nerzul go. managed to break free of Kil'jaeden's power and turned his attention toward creating a champion to lead his ever-growing scourge. Naturally, he chose Arthas. Who was a stressed out mess? To the point where he tried to stop the plague by killing everyone in his own city. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, he was totally losing it. So yeah, no, nah, he on different time. You know, he's like, you know what? I see the problem. I see the problem. Instead of killing the people who are infected, Pete, Pete, just listen, listen. If we kill everyone, then no one can get infected. I solved the problem. <laughs> so hearing a creepy voice in his head really didn't help. Long story short, in his efforts to protect his realm, Arthas discovered a rune blade and took it for himself. <laughs> this was the fearsome Frostmourne. Surprise! It's the source of the Lich King's power. He <laughs> was stealing souls and storing them within the blade. With this new ice-cold cleaver in hand, Arthas lost his soul and got a Death Knight makeover. And so the former Hero of Light would lead the very scourge he previously fought. And in time, Arthas would don the armor for himself, giving the Lich King a new, ultimate power. Walking! Walking! Remember, everything <laughs> the Lich King had done up until this point had been from his prison <coughs> within a literal block of ice. And this new Saranite armor, wait, no, Saranite armor Saranite. is the best. Like, what was it doing stuck in ice all this time when it's made of old god blood and self-repairs? 
Screw right. you, blacksmith! You're never taking my hard-earned gold! I'll never have to get naked and die again! By donning this dark helm, Nerzul and Arthas fused to become one, a being far more powerful than either had been before. He can effortlessly cover cities in ice- Storms, murder hundreds with the power of shadow, and learn all of your secrets with the eye of Acherus. Azeroth's fate was sealed. Everyone was doomed. See this guy? He's Illidan, a 15,000 year old demon hunter with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. As a death knight, Arthas could take him down, even after fighting through a massive army to get to him. Against this new Lich King? Illidan never stood a chance. This is important because Illidan had absorbed the power of Gul'dan, an orc warlock who, alongside his followers, raised the Broken Isles out of the sea, a massively powerful feat of magic. Mm. The fact that Arthas, a mortal guy, beat him up is a big deal. Just imagine how kick-ass he'd be in full control of the undying Lich King powers. Oh wait, we don't have to. <laughs> he did Nurse that. Have, have you been drinking? Oh, yeah, it's... No. If you're smelling something, it might be my spiked eggnog body wash. He have pulled Arthas' strings up until this point, but I he had made a drastic right. miscalculation. Within the mind of the Lich King, Arthas battled Nerzul for control and won. The power of Frostmourne, of the Scourge, of Undeath itself was now under the command of Arthas. And by this point, he was just done. Like, with everything. We've all had one of those days, right? Where you see all of humanity is so pathetic they can only be saved by just killing them all so <laughs> you rip out your own heart. Oh. Yeah, relatable. Determined to end all life, Arthas led his scourge across Azeroth, spreading the plague to every corner of the world. This guy just did a whole 180, man. He was on the good guy's side fighting. He got the sword, thought he was doing stuff. He's on some evil shit, got the armor, and now he's just everybody's worst enemy. I don't, this, this man, he's, he's, he is the plot twist. All right, let's go. He slaughtered every contender in his path, including legendary champions like this hero of the Horde, Dranosh Sarfang. Who the Lich King bitch slapped to death in one hit, mm. then zombified to serve him instead. Man, that didn't go well. The Lich At King all. seemed unstoppable. Only one thing could take him down. A 25-man raid team of the best nerds World of Warcraft servers had to <laughs> offer. And that one guy who was just there because he was friends with somebody, but damn, he sucked. With these uh, heroes triumphant, the Paladin Tyrion shattered Frostmourne with an equally legendary blade, ending the Lich King's vile reign. But the Scourge doesn't work on Phantom Menace battle droid rules, so there must always be a Lich King to keep the relentless undead in check. Yet no Lich King before or since ever matched the terror and malice Arthas brought to Azeroth. Without a doubt, one of the most terrifying kings to ever conquer okay. the world of Warcraft. Okay. Place your bets. Place your bets, guys. This episode of Death... Place your bets. I... I'm gonna say Sauron because one, I do want Sauron to uh win. Uh, also, I don't know, man. Like Sauron was on, he's like, dude's literally a lower angel. They said, you know what I'm saying? Like he got, he got roots to the to the beginning of all shit, bro. Like I don't, I don't know. I feel like, ooh, excuse me, Sauron's just a different guy. I feel like he's a different guy. Don't get me wrong, the Lich King. He looked like he badass, you know what I'm saying? Bringing up those from the dead and all this other stuff and whatever, whatever, whatever. But, like, the way they die, yeah, if you, get, if you can get rid of Sauron's ring, cut it off, whatever, whatever, it seems like definitely a way that, an easy way to get rid of Sauron. Uh, but, yo, just in, in, the, in the span of things that they can do, like, I think Sauron got it. But we gonna see what's up, all right? All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possible. My money's orders. on Sauron. It's time for an undeath battle. <laughs> undeath, I like that. If you're this far in the video and you're not subscribed, what the fuck? Calling it for Sauron right now. Let's go. Oh, they came. They got. They 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 did the the, the for real animations. I like that. I like when they don't play around with the anime. Like, I think my, my least favorite animation when they do it is, like, the, the little gaming kind. But, like, look like they went in on this one. And he's like, and it ain't this. Yeah. 
There we go. Swing that thing, boy. Big ass mallet. You don't care about none of that. None of that. That man grabbed a soul. Grabbed it. He said, I'm gonna take this from you. That's how you do it. Let's go. This is mine now. I think it turned into a werewolf. He already did that. Just so you know, I never win these things when I call for somebody, but I'm still saying Sauron. All right. Your efforts are for naught. Whoop his ass. All that, that ain't nothing but snow. That ain't nothing but snow. And he, that's how you solve that problem with a volcano. smell a thing you really about to try to take his soul bro you're wrong you're wrong you're already wrong he's like I got my own thingy Big blue eye, now what, nigga? Yep, yep, there you go. That part. That part. That's it. That's what we talking about. Dubs, all day over here. Sauron, let's go, baby. We knew, Leech King, what was he doing? What was he doing? What he had? What he had? What he really had? You know what I'm saying? Sauron was that guy. Like I said, that man came from, like, he was around during, like, creation and shit. You know what I'm saying? He had time on his side. That bro had, you know what I'm saying? Lisky, he just wasn't battered like that. He just wasn't battered like, all right, we move, we move, we move, we move. <laughs> K.O. Well, if he wasn't all powerful before, look out for supercharged Sauron now. Despite the Lich King's impressive power, Sauron's might was absolute. Mm -hmm. But not before he got the duel of his life in a crazy close bout. First up, both Dark Lords could counter pretty much any mind or soul screwing powers, making a lot of their usual tricks way less noteworthy in this match. To be fair, the Lich King severely debilitated Sauron via his plague of undeath. Most physical bodies would not survive such a disease. So Sauron just got rid of his body. <laughs> Who needs it? Especially when you can rebuild one or just start fighting as a ghost. Both Facts. things Sauron could do. After all, the plague is intended for organic mortal enemies and has never infected a spirit. Another smaller point for Sauron was his weakness. The Lich King was a clever bastard, but even with the Eye of Acherus, it would have been tough for him to decode and destroy the One Ring. Meanwhile, given enough power, Sauron would naturally end up destroying Frostmourne. He's kinda got a thing for breaking swords. So <laughs> let's compare their power. While their highest limits are certainly nebulous, interestingly enough, some of the most impressive feats from both worlds involve lifting islands. As Sauron Rex. is a more powerful Maya than Osei, and the Lich King could reliably defeat someone with Gul'dan's magic, it is possible to gauge the difference in power by measuring the islands that were raised. Keep in mind, Gul'dan... Sorry, I saw Gul'dan that there. The unnamed... Here's the unnamed... Okay, 
Right. Gauge the difference in power by measuring the islands that were raised. Keep in mind, Ghoul Dan had a bunch of help, so we're only giving him his share. Turns out, Ose was doing twice the work. By Ooh. examining official maps to determine the volume of the islands, we found a difference between lifting two quadrillion tons of rock versus four quadrillion tons. Okay. Among the further energy required to actually lift these through the ocean, of course. Both impressive, sure, but Sauron had the edge. And for the final nail in the coffin, the Lich King might have been super scary, but he really wasn't around for all that long. At least not when yeah. compared to the experience Sauron has warring with the world for thousands of years. Facts. The Lich King certainly posed a threat to Sauron, but the ruler of Mordor's awesome might, enduring spirit, and millennia of treachery proved him the superior Dark Lord. Wow! Is that, is that it? What? Are you Sauron the pun? I was pretty Tolkien about it. Uh -uh. The winner is Sauron. Yep! Yeah. Hey! That's what it was, yo. That was dope. We watched dope shit here. I called it right for once. Yeah, bro. Sorry. Sauron was the one. He, he was the one that had the... <laughs> Sorry, but like... Yeah, bro. After watching and seeing what they was about, um... Sauron looked like he was taking it. Let's kick you know, He did a little tag. did a little tag, but it just wasn't about that, bro. It did what it just wasn't about that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Hey, Sauron, dubs all day. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? They got to get a rap battle. Somebody got to do a rap battle with these two characters now. You know what I'm saying? I think that death battles definitely gives us a good route to move as far as rap battle territory hopefully this kid can pick up that dub but in this situation nah he dead that's raps from that's the take guys be sure to like be sure to subscribe follow me on all that dead social media and i'll catch y'all next one man peace